Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is my review for Uncut Gems. Roll the intro. Hi guys, this is Gregory Martin, a.k.a. The Super Producer, and this is my official review for the film Uncut Gems. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the video down below. It really helps the channel out with the YouTube algorithm, and it also helps my ego. I'm just joking. Uh, but please like, and uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Um, and without uh, further delay, let's get right into it. Uncut Gems um, is directed by the Safty Brothers, who are relatively new uh, directors to me anyway. Um, looking at their IMDb page, I see they see that they've directed uh, various short films. They've done uh, music videos. Uh, most notable, they did the uh, Marcy Me video for, uh, for Jay-Z. Um, obviously, the film stars Adam Sandler, Lakeith Stanfield, um, Kevin Garnett. Um, it has uh, cameos by The Weeknd, uh, Trinidad James. And it introduces us to a very uh, to a newcoming actress named Julia Fox, who did an amazing job in this film. She's a beautiful woman on screen, um, but just her story is really interesting interesting to me. So I'm really interested to see, you know, what she does after this film. You know, she this she's a relatively relatively new to acting. She's done. Um, I, I was looking at uh, some of her uh, some uh, interviews that she's done. She's uh, She's, she directed this, uh, this uh, short film about the sex industry. Um, she, she's done paintings with her own blood. With her own blood. And she just, she just, has, this, she just has this charisma about her that I, I feel that it's going, to, it's going to serve her really well going forward. I think people are going to, I think you'll see her in like these big uh, summer blockbuster movies coming up. Uh, maybe next year or the years years after that, but I, I definitely would like to see her do something a little bit different uh, than these. Cause I, I think she has a very unique story that I, I think could work really well for her. Um, but to get back into the film, um, so the film Uncut Gems is about this uh, this New York City jeweler played by Adam Sandler, who is way and over his head. You know, he's a very charismatic guy, but he 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 does things that escalate things that that sh don't, that don't need to be escalated um, <laughs> from the very beginning of the film. It, it seems, you know, the film opens with him, um, you know, he, him coming to his, his office and there are, the, there are these two goons that are waiting for him. And you just know that they're, they have, you know, you know, very bad intentions and that he obviously owes them, you know, uh, some type of debt. Basically, he's got into he owes this guy a hundred thousand uh, dollars. He has a hundred thousand dollar debt, and instead of just you know you know you would think that he's a jeweler that he has this you know he has access to his capital, but you know for some reason he doesn't. So he sent these uh, these two guys after uh, Sandler's character to collect, and he has he just comes up with excuse after excuse as of why he you know he you know why he's not paying. And, um, you know, it kind of, it, 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 it kind of, you kind of find out throughout, through the film that he, Howard is addicted to, you know, he, he's a gambler. He's looking for that next, that next high, that next gambler's high, you know, whether it be, you know, betting on the Boston Celtics, you know, KG, his favorite player, um, or, or if it's selling, you know, his, um, you know, He's fake watches, you know, to these, uh, to these, uh, to other jewelers in in the uh, district to kind of help sell his score. And he just, he just, you just, you kind of, it's just a very, you know, you kind of get exhausted, you know, because he, because he, he, he continues to make these bad choices. He's, he's always trying to leverage something to level up. The crux of the film happens when, when Sandler's Adam Sandler's character finds, uh, or discovers this this Ethiopian Jewish tribe. In, in Ethiopia, obviously, 
and you know they are you know they work in these mines and they're mining these gems and but they don't know what they're they don't know what they're they're setting on so you know he he figures that you know he can score really big if he can get his hands on these these uh these uh these gems that are unregulated so you know during during an encounter that he's having with 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 Kevin Garnett he he gets a delivery and in the in the delivery box is this this very rare greenish uh uh gem that is to him um is you know supposed to be worth you know 2 million dollars and he shows this to Kevin Garnett's character well it's Kevin Garnett Kevin Garnett playing himself playing Kevin Garnett in the film and Kevin Garnett falls in love with this 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 gem that he has to have it you know he he has to hold it but Howard doesn't Howard is is Adam Sandler's character doesn't doesn't want to sell it to him but KG is very persistent you know and KG is one of uh uh his favorite characters so he kind of just just goes along with it he lets him borrow borrow the the gem uh but uh as collateral he he tells KG that he has to allow him to hold his Boston Celtics ring, which you know KG you know does you know because he he he's really drawn to this gem, um, and and while this is going on you know like I said you know he's he's being chased by these by these these guys that he that he owes money to and he's and you, you know is it, it, you would think you would you would think his focus would be on paying these guys back because like they 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 obviously are mean are mean business and he just he just kind of you know it, it kind of it, it kind of you know you kind of, you kind of feel feel while watching the film that you know you know why does he care about this gem yeah i understand that it it, it, it it's something you know very tangible to him that it, it it means a way for him to get this gain the success that he's always wanted to obtain from his friend, uh, for his friends, I think I think for him, he he does everything. He does he does things one for the look, uh, two is just this the adrenaline in him that he's a he's a he's a, a an adrenaline adrenaline junkie that he just has to 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 do these things in order to to just survive. That's just I think that's just that's just in his blood. That's just how he he works. Um, but you know you you see like throughout the film that you know you would think like he would just like. Like my guy, guy, just, just, just cut your losses. Like, like stop, stop fucking around. Pay this guy this, this money, and let's get this, let's get this over with. But obviously, he doesn't do that. And it just everything that he, every, every turn that he, that he, he kind of comes to, it just, it just is like it, and it doesn't, it doesn't end well. You know, he just, he just, it's just like bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. So like for you as an audience member. It's very. I, I feel like it was felt like it's very, you know, very taxing on you because you just, you just, you know, you, you're seeing this guy go through it. You know, he he he. You think he he's he's made inroads or he's 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 turned the corner, and he falls back on his face. He it happens again. He falls back on his face. You know, and while this is going on, you know, he has issues at at home. You know, he's living with this uh, with Julia Fox's character. You know, she, she's his. Uh, his girlfriend on the side, yeah, he's married, and so like you know, he has this dynamic at home, and he has this 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 life at home. He has his life on the side, and then he has this life that you know, his his uh his friends, you know, his friends don't know about, you know, that that he that he's involved in, which is like, and I I just don't know how I just don't know how someone can you know juggle all that, but he 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 does it really well, and you know he well he doesn't do it, he doesn't do it really well when he wouldn't be in this position. I mean, and there's a turning point in the film where you know you see where you know you see that he's been he's been beaten up, he's been, you know, he's been uh, abused. Like things just are not working out for him. That that he that you would think he turns the corner, and is going to, you know, right his wrongs, but when he's able to, so when he's able to actually pay his debt, <laughs> he decides to gamble the money away again and you're just like what are you doing guy like what are you doing like you can be out of this get out of this and you continue to go down this path 
and you just like you just like oh my god you just you, you would you thought the roller coaster was over and nope it goes right back <laughs> it goes right back up to the top and you know you got and you and you kind of you know you gotta wait it wait it out and you know and in that those last you know 20, 15 20 minutes of the film were, were very intense you know for me because you know like one you know you see that okay he's he's he's, he's made this this big gamble and you're like, okay, let's see if it pays off. It's gonna, it's gonna pay off. And you know, you're going through it, and you see it is, it's happening. You're like, okay, he's almost there. He's like, he's, he's, he's almost there. He's almost there. And you're, in, and to the point where, you, where you're, you're actually rooting for him. You're rooting for him to, 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 uh, to, to for the gamble to, to, to pay off. And you know, but you're also, but also in the back of your mind, back of your mind, you're like, is it, going, <laughs> is it going to happen? Is it, is, like, is this it? And and then at the end of the, at the end of the film, you know, his gamble pays off, you know. However, um, the way he went about it, you know, it 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 it, it, it the the all of the bad, the bad will that he that he he built up throughout the movie comes crashing down to the end, and that and where he gets. He gets blown away. He gets he gets he gets shot in the head, you know, because the people have have just had enough, you know, of his of his shit, you know. They've 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 you know endured it for you know two hours of the movie, and then like this that was what he did was the the final straw, and they blow him away, blow him away, and I was just, I was, you know, I I I was very I was kind of conflicted. I didn't know what to think. I was I I was like. I was like, yes, he deserved, he deserved to die, but he really deserved to die way sooner. So you, you would think, you know, he made it this far, you know, kind of manipulating these guys that, you know, that he, you know, won, he scored, he, he, yes, he, he gambled and he won, you know, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, at, it cost him his life, you know, so, you know, it's like, was it really worth it? And for him, I, I think, you know, I think that, that, that ending was kind of the natural conclusion of how the film should have ended, you know. So I, so I didn't, I didn't have any, any problems with that, you know. I, I was really kind of, um, I was kind of just really relieved that the roller coaster was over, and that you know, like the opening credits were, you know, were going to roll because I had to be very bad, bad at the end, you know. But um, but um, I really, I really enjoyed the film. You know, it was a, it was a really good film. It was a, a really good. A uh, roller coaster ride, um, you know, it was a, a it was a, 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 it was for me it was like I, like I said I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a Adam Sandler fan, so it was, it was really cool to see him in something different, you know, um, you know to play a, a, a kind of a a sleazy New York City, you know Jewish uh, jeweler. Not saying that Jewish people are sleazy. Don't don't misconstrue that. But just to play this kind of like kind of like sleazeball character, and uh, I thought it was thought, I thought it was really really cool. And um, I mean, I had a I had a few issues with some of the of some of the shots, but other than, other than that, I think the film was done was was produced really well. It was, it was shot really well, um, directed really well, and the performances were really good. Um, so yeah, I mean that those are like the basis of of a of a really good film, and I think. The film, I think this film nailed nailed that. Um, I, I think my my only I would say my only critique would be the opening of the film. I like I I get why they did it that way, but I I just feel that there there could have been. I mean, it's possible they could have, they could have they could have did that a different way and still got into you know to the ending. But but I see I see why they did that did the opening the way that the way that they did it, uh, so you know I can't you know that that would be that would be me just kind of nitpicking, um, some things. Um, so yeah, so I, I would say I, I like the film and I would you know I would recommend it to see for, for you guys. Um, if I would if I had to give it a score out of five, I would say I would give it a. Between a three point five and a four out of, four out of five, um, yeah, that's 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 my that's my assessment of it.
Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. And also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.